Hey, good morning. Ben with you here again on Studio on the Lake. You can see we have open water. The ice has uh, left the lake just a couple days ago, and the snow is primarily gone. This morning we're going to uh, go ahead and put together a wood spirit birdhouse, an old man face on a, the front of a birdhouse. Fun little project. This is some wood that uh, came out of the scrap pile. This piece happens to be pine. Another piece is elm. And it's got a little bit of a patina to it. Like most of the other projects, it won't get a finish on it. It'll just get left to uh, weather. It should last 10, 15 years before it falls apart. Got to get the leaves and the pine off of there. This is that piece of elm. It's the only thing wide enough to get the front face out. It's going to be a little pain in the butt to carve because it's a little harder than the basswood. That piece that I just threw to the left there is a piece of pine. There we have it cut out, basic shape, beard going in the front. This will hang over the front of the box. Need to trim a little edge there to make it look right. Back to another section of pine that was left over from some other project. It's lucky it didn't get burned in the winter. I think the snow came a little too fast. It's always nice in the spring when you walk outside and half the snow's gone and stuff you haven't seen for five months is sitting right where you left it last fall. Always plan on picking stuff up, but you don't always win. Looks good. Time to screw it together. This isn't oak, it's just pine and that section of elm and initially up front most of these screws went right in. No need to be a sissy and pre-drill them. At least that's what I thought. You'll see that in a minute here. Looking good right up to that point right there. Pull out the screw, break off the piece, look at it. Looks to me like it'll probably be all right. Now we got that sissy drill in the hand and pre-drilling the rest of it so it doesn't split out. That upper right hand corner piece will get carved off around the face of the box and should be a non-issue. From here on out I pre-drilled everything. box is a little wonky there just slapping it together so I'm gonna go ahead and pull one screw off the back and even out the distance there and a lot of this will get carved away shouldn't be an issue the important part is the 45 degree angles up there at the top match for the roof and they do there's the base getting marked out that'll just get slapped in there and then glued. There's the roof. Put the overhang towards the front. Leave the back flush. Draw the 45. No rhyme or reason to the size of this hole. Something that looks good. If you look up bird houses and what birds like as far as holes in them you'll find that 99.9% .9 of the birdhouses the holes the wrong size the birds not going to use it if they do you just got lucky if you want a bird to use it you have to make a dimensional house preferably watertight and the hole the right size and then whatever species of bird you're trying to attract will go ahead and sometimes inhabit the house and build a nest in there this isn't the case Here's a wood spirit, just kind of a quick pattern. Not going to be exactly like this, but using him just to kind of lay stuff out. Draw the mustache, 
I will admit that I had to redraw this. You see some light lines on there. I originally put his mustache going down beside his mouth. He had to take the grinder and grind uh, off the front of it so that I could get the marking on there and actually see it. No rhyme or reason here. Standard one third on faces. If you take an art class, they'll teach you about where the stuff goes to make the face look somewhat like a human. And ironically, that turns out to be one third, basically. And you can look that up if you like. So the nose, the eyebrows, the eyes will go in the center there. It's a veiner gouge. I know I griped in the past about not using veiners. Here's a case where I would use a veiner. Get a quick outline. This wood is nasty hard. And you have to use a mallet and a chisel with this in a lot of cases. Just doing a liner, outlining the shapes of where the stop cuts are going to go as we start to hog some wood away. You'll see that 99% of this uh, video I went ahead and, and ran it three times faster than normal. Not a whole lot to see here and you kind of get the concept of what's going on. couple X's on there I wanted to make sure I left the cheeks when I carved the other relief portions out I would kind of want a high spot there when I'm all done and then we'll round those over and make little chubby cheeks at least that's the plan This is a flat skew. I'm just going back around resetting those uh, lines that the veiner left. They're stop cuts. I'll cut up to those and then block out the face. It's pretty much the primary in any carving. You block everything out, carve it into squares, turn the squares into rounds, yada, yada, yada. Hand makes a pretty good mallet sometimes when you're too lazy to pick the mallet up. You'll notice there's four screws in the front of that there, and I'm, I'm doing my best to stay away from those. If you go ahead and nick one of those, you'll get to spend a little time up close and personal with a sharpening stone. Time to pull the top off, sit in my chair, and finish this thing up. I would have done it with chisels and can be done completely with chisels. I'm going to switch to a little bit of power carving and chisels as per the norm. Trying to get the video or the face done. i got to admit I work a little differently when I'm doing this just to do it for myself and not filming. When I'm filming I feel obligated to kind of finish it up in a reasonable amount of time. You can see the grinder sitting in the corner there. It, uh, I use it to profile the face a little bit. I caught this screw and I got lucky. I had just barely enough screw there to remove it with the, the impact driver. There it is. The face is all setting off on the side. 
time to uh, pop in the chair. Front door of the studio was open and Groot decided to come in. And he's a big baby. He needs special attention. Problem is when you start rubbing his head, he won't go away. Chisel work, working towards the lines of the flow of the beard. Trying to define that mustache a little bit. This wood is a little bit, ha has some moisture to it. Um, sitting out there under the snow all winter and having leaves and whatnot on it. Chisel makes quick work. You can see I'm still trying to stay away from those cheekbones. You didn't get to see it, but I went ahead and drilled those eyes out. It's a trick from ancient Greeks. You look at a lot of statues, you have eyes. Now I'm going to take the knife and, and cutting a vertical slit in there. It makes a nice shadow. It gives you the illusion of eyes when there aren't really any in there. No intention to paint this thing. It's going to sit out there and weather. Per the rest of the videos, if you look in the lower right hand corner, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button. Hey, we just went over 10 a couple days ago. Pretty impressive. Woohoo! 10. Sitting there, I was staring at it and trying to decide just how much detail I wanted to put into this. And I decided that it was getting pretty close and I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time detailing everything out. It's not Since it's not going to get any paint, I'm not going to have to do all the contours and stuff. Just wanted to leave big chisel lines that would read pretty good as you went away. After all, it is a birdhouse sitting in the background. You'll glance at it once and then forget that it's even there. It's a carbide burr. It's cleaning up some of the fuzz. Getting down to the nitty gritty on the, the beard. Carving the flow lines in there. You could get a crazy amount of detail and spend half a day working each individual hair is where they go through on this but if you leave big flat planes like this it tends to read pretty good I am going to put a little bit of detail in the beard and stuff. This is, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's a grinding disc. I use these to, for cutoff primarily, but it does a nice job with big fur or hair just to put a few lines in there. That's where I started to get out of control. I was thinking maybe I'd burn in some eyebrows and highlight underneath the eyes and whatnot. And I started on it and then thought, that's insane. Why go through all that trouble? Grab the brush, knock it off. I'm happy pretty much with where it's at. It is a birdhouse outside. Once again, you could put tons and tons of detail in this thing, but I think he reads pretty well just like he is. 
and you'll look pretty awesome in three or four months as soon as this, this weather's down to match the rest of the wood on that. Time to hang it up. A couple dogs followed me around. Old dog moving a little slower. Young dog moving a little faster. Getting ready to put this up on a tree over here. There you go. Sitting on a tree, complete. We'll call that one finished. I think he turned out pretty good. As usual, it's been with Studio on the Lake. If please click the like button or subscribe in the corner if you like it, you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.